You've probably heard of hydroponics. It's the technique of growing plants in a sterile medium and sustaining them using a flood or ebb and flow watering system. Now, I'm sure you've heard about the system of growing things called aquaculture. It's where you grow fish. Now, you can grow all sorts of fish, barramundi, perch, and even trout during the colder months. That's a terrific system of growing fish at home, starting off with little fingerlings and ending up with the freshest seafood, all produced at home in a tank. That's dead easy to do. I'll show you how. The expert team at Hydroponic Express show you how to put the system together or they can actually come out and do it for you. Now systems start from the compact mini system ideal for balconies to a large 2,000 litre system capable of producing an endless supply of hydroponic veggies and about 90 kilos of fish a year. Now the tank's going to be home to six beautiful silver perch. Now the way the whole system works is quite incredible. Now of course the perch have waste. That waste is sucked up through a pump and it's brought all the way across here and then released into the top of the tray. It slowly flows back through here. The plant's roots filter up all those nutrients and by the time it makes it down to the drains down this end, it's flowing back into the tank as beautiful, clean, pure water. This system also uses a circulation pump and an aeration pump, which dissolves oxygen through the water, which is an essential component for fish survival. The pumps are cheap to run at about $5 a week and the system is simple to set up by yourself. The two types of plant here, we're both we're starting with pre-germinated, pre-grown. They're yep. range and age. These are about four weeks old uh -huh. and five weeks old, mm -hmm. but they're both from different systems. Right. The lighter roots, as you can see, yep. are from the hydroponics. Yep. And these ones here are actually from the aquaponics. Because of the fish waste, it is very organic and it has a lot of a lot of things a plant requires to need and it just makes them go absolutely nuts. Okay, so tell us, how do we plant these successfully? Is there some trick? Is it No, really, it's pretty simple. Um, basically, I keep the roots wrapped up in my hand. All right. One hand to dig a hole. Yep. Drop her in and back to it. That's ready to go. This relationship between plants and fish is, of course, completely natural and there's little need for any other nutrient or chemical once the system's established. Now the interesting thing with this type of fish is that for every 150 grams of food we give them, they're going to put 100 grams of weight on. So the amount of food is actually going to dictate how big they get and how quick they grow. One thing you need to watch out for is the water quality and a regular test is very important. Where you place your system is also important. If you can control rapid temperature changes and reduce exposure to pests, you'll end up with perfect fruit and veg and the hardiest fish you can get. Now, the real key to success here is starting off with the right advice, getting the right system. For me, it's Hydroponic Express. These people know these systems better than anybody I know. And you're going to end up with the most fantastic crops and, of course, spectacular fresh fish. You can't go wrong.